Hey folks, it's Chad again at Airstream in Greensboro. Behind me I have the 2023 Flying Cloud 28 RB floor plan. It's one of the few floor plans I've yet to do a walk around of, so I'm excited about that. In the comments, leave me a comment of whether you like the 27 FB or the 28 RB better. Let's jump into a quick walk around of the outside and the inside. I'll start with the outside of the 28 RB and I just want to mention, as I show you the front of this Airstream, uh, that we are, Airstream of Greensboro, we are a part of the largest dealer network of Airstream uh, dealers in the country. And what that means for you is just that we can get you the best price in the Airstream, we have the most inventory for Airstream, and we can pay you the most for your trades. So if you're interested in an Airstream, be sure to reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you uh, take care of that. All of my contact information is down below in that description. Now in the front here, you are gonna have um, your aluminum cover for your 230 pound propane tanks. It does come with the power ton jack and you have the awesome Dimco hitching system. On this side, you're gonna find that uh, solar panel expansion. On the other side, you're gonna find your propane quick disconnect. Now there's space for two batteries in here. There's not any batteries in there yet because for the model year 2023, you're gonna pick the battery that you want at the dealership level. That way you're not paying for a battery when you really wanna get lithium and they included AGM or included lead acid. You're just gonna pay for the battery that you want. Now underneath the front section here, you're gonna have your spare tire. That is a Goodyear Endurance, just like the tires on the, the, the actual tires touching the ground. And then you do have manual stabilizer jacks, uh, four, one on each corner on the Flying Cloud. You've got the stainless steel rock guard there Above that, it's gonna be the, I think, plexiglass here, but it's very strong. That's protecting your glass windows behind that. And it's providing some solar um, rays blocks there. Now the center one will open right there. And when that one opens, it allows you to open that inside window as well. And then you're gonna have, with the Flying Cloud, the manual zipping awning, awning. And Airstream always gives you the longest awning that they possibly can give you. Now that's manual. And if you're wondering, Chad, how do you deploy the Zipti manual awning? I have a video about that. I'll link a card up above on the Zipti awning if you'd like to take a look at that. And then you've got your steps there, very easy steps to deploy. You've got your little in there, that's for the stabilizer. Now Airstreams are all certified green. You can find out some really good information about that on Airstream's website. Now, as far as windows that open, both of these windows open, as well as that back window that's in the bedroom area opens as well. And then Airstream does always give you a 110 power socket on the campsite side. You've got the Goodyear tire, the Dexter axles that also has the shock absorber as well. Uh, Dexter auto adjusting brakes. And then just to kind of give you an idea of what the underneath looks like. And something I like to try to always point out is you can see the aluminum underbelly there goes all the way across. So it is a full aluminum wrap. So not just the sides here that you see, not just the top that's also aluminum, but also uh, the undercarriage is aluminum as well. So it's a full uh, aluminum wrap on the Flying Cloud. Coming around, you're gonna have some storage here in the bumper. Great outside storage, now it is, we call it wet storage. That's just meaning that um, it will get wet. Whatever you put in there is probably gonna get wet. That's a great spot for things like leveling jack or leveling blocks, uh, water hoses, those types of things. And then on the 28, you're gonna have one of your larger bays for storage here in the back. And this goes, you can see, I can't even touch that end uh, holding the camera too. That cap there is just caps off the end of your smart plug. I'm using a shop cord to plug this in. There's a light there, but that is a massive bit of storage right there. If you're wondering which type of chairs will fit, hard to do that with one hand, there we go, in the storage area of the Airstreams, my buddy Doug, who I met at the Tanglewood Carolina's rally told me that the Yeti chairs fit really well in the compartments on an Airstream. So shout out to Doug. And you've got window awnings. That's the option on the Flying Cloud. Becomes standard as you get to the international and go above. Window awning there. 
the window on you and that one kind of runs the full length the reason they do that full length is it helps to give you some shade on a really sunny day and then you can see the backup camera that's also going to be standard on all of your airstream travel trailers as well as led lights throughout all of your lights there as well as your marker lights are all going to be led and then kind of on the business side of the flying cloud let me give you some up close to here so we've got the sewer connections you've got black and gray remember always pull your black first and then pull the gray so you can wash out the black with that sippy water and this is a spot to store your sewer hose it goes all the way across the camper and there's a good shot at that heavy duty uh, leveling jack you can see both of them there on off the back and then that that connection there is manual there's a manual rod that connects that but you can get an adapter to use with your drill and turn that into a powered uh stabilizer real quick you can kind of see the tanks there they are covered in a metal uh, aluminum metal there to protect them and then you've got your other set of goodyear tires there aluminum rims you've got your city water inlet here remember this has a pressure regulator built into it so you're not going to want to put one on the outside that will actually prevent the water he heater from kicking on um, when you've got two regulators on You've got your potable water here, or your fresh water fill, and that's just gravity fed. So you open that, you just feed it right in there. You've got the fantastic smart plug. I absolutely love this plug. It's very easy to plug in and unplug. You just squeeze these levers here, and it pulls right out. And the same thing as far as pushing it in. Then it's got a lock kind of built into uh, the cap here that kind of locks and holds that in place as well. You've got roughly 20% more metal to metal contact. So it can handle more heat before you have an issue. Right beside that, you're going to have your campsite uh, cable and satellite inputs. Outside shower, both hot and cold water for the outside shower. Then on the 28, you're going to find the black tank flush right here beside the furnace. Now that goes plumb straight into the black tank. Uh, make sure you always leave your valves open just in case you don't overfill that. But this is going to help flush out that black tank after you've used it. You've got your furnace right there. And then you've got your fantastic Gerard uh, hot water heater. So this is tankless. There's no tank in there. Just a bunch of heating elements, uh, heat exchangers. There is a power switch out here, so you can turn this off outside. But if you turn it off out here, uh, you'll have to come back outside to turn it back on. But it's Gerard. It's a tankless hot water heater. It's on demand. You're going to want to set the temperature to the temperature of your shower water. And then just turn the shower to all the way to hot. And take a shower that way now the vent over the stove does vent to the outside that's right there and if you are camping you're like hey it's not venting um there's little tabs that you got to pull up and then this can actually open at that point but if those tabs are open to keep it closed then that's not going to open if you're wondering if you've not figured that out yet there's a free bit of advice for all of you newbies out there that window is going to open as well as that back window so you can get some really good uh, uh, ventilation airflow throughout the whole coach. Now that is the outside of the Airstream 25 RB. Be sure to tell me in the comments if you like the RB better or if you like the 27 FB better. Now remember the 27, 28, they're essentially the same length. They're just using the 27, 28 to distinguish between the different, different models. Let's jump to the inside. So as I move to the inside, I always talk about the door in every video, and that's just simply because the door shows the craftsmanship and quality of an Airstream. This is built by hand. These doors here are built by hand, as well as the inner screen. And that opens right there. You've got a fantastic screen. Um, there's the Airstream artisan that builds these in-house. Just fan You can always see just how well the welds are done. It's hard to say that multiple times you have six welds on both sides so a total of 12 welds and the other thing i like to point out is just how consistent these welds are doesn't matter which airstream i look at you can watch all of my videos that i've made about airstream and you're going to see that consistent weld holding that door frame together and remember these doors are made in-house it takes them about eight hours to build the door by hand if you go and do the factory tour you can actually see them do that in person the other thing I like to do, and I definitely like doing this in person, but just closing that door, it has the just the sound of a vault closing. They call it the vault door of the RV industry. 
and they come into the 28RB. One thing I want to point out, if you're not a fan of vents in the floor, you're not going to like the 28RB because there's a vent right there in the floor for your heat. And then one of the things that makes the 28RB, so the 28RB is similar to the 30RB. It's a very almost identical four plans. It's just that the center of the coach is going to be expanded out on the 30. It's shrunk in on the 28. But on the, on the 28, you're going to have this really nice seat across the front. And one of the things I like about this, when you sit down in the 28 or the 30, and I'm sitting down on this really nice, comfortable couch, and the TV is right there. So if you're someone who likes to watch TV, my wife and I are that way. We like to watch an episode uh, generally at night. We'll watch one episode, and then we kind of go about our night. And uh, this allows you to do that in a very comfortable environment with the seat. Now, one detail I really like that Airstream did, you've got this seam that's running across here. That seam continues right into this side cushion and then turns. I just love how that matches up. Not something they had to do, but that attention to detail, I think, is just speaks volumes. And it does have the fantastic sounding JL Audio ready, uh, speaker system in here. The receiver's JL Audio as well as the speakers. They're also JL Audio. And it has a subwoofer sounds incredible if you love listening to tunes while you're at your campsite this the airstream is the one to have the system sounds great now you're gonna have good storage up here over front with soft closed hinges this is gonna be your media section here this is the little cover for the jl audio put that back on you've got usb here that connects to the back of the jl audio you've got hdmi as well as the inverted circuit if you want to plug in something like an Apple TV, you're able to do that. And there is a way to run a wire back to the back of this if you want to plug in that aux uh, input. Um, I'd love for Airstream to do that themselves, but they do not do that currently. And there are reading lights on both sides. And then one thing I do like, another thing I like about the 28 is a little bit of hidden storage that they give you right here. So it's super deep. I mean, it's deep for, for what it is. That would be great for your blankets and pillows and things that you might want to have just for when you want to convert this to a bed. Uh, I'm going to flash up a video, a photo of this made into the bed. Uh, the great spot if, if you want to have, you know, just somewhere to be able to put maybe a grandkid or your kids. Remember, all most Airstream floor plans can sleep six or six to eight people, so they're all family floor plans. If that you know makes sense. And remember, those two doors open there. This is probably the easiest table to put down because it actually fits right inside. The cushions there so you don't have to move the cushions to put the table down that also means larger folk like myself fit in these this dinette super well like like plenty of room so if you're thinking like hey i like airstream but the dinettes are always too small or there's not enough room for me because i'm a larger american um this one's got plenty of room i think the table is skinnier than what you see on the 27 fb same type of table same for mica material but such a ton of, ton of room right there. There's a light over top there. And then you do have cabinets above, great cabinet space above there. And I do have the AC on, so you may be able to hear the air conditioner running. But something to remember on Airstream's air conditioners, it is a true ducted system. There's actual duct work up there. Your inlets are there. And sometimes you can see it, but you can actually not see the AC unit up there. And that's because it's actually sitting a little bit further down and it ducks up in there and then up again um, to give you a quieter about 20 to 30 percent quieter than your traditional um, ac system for rvs you've got an inverted circuit right there if you want to have the ability to plug in a laptop while you're working and dry camping you can see cables there and all the different plugs it'd be nice to see airstream kind of neat that up a little bit and then this tv doesn't have a bracket that can move so it is mounted and where it's mounted is the way that it is going to stay. Uh, now, as far as storage in the front, you've got a storage compartment right there. Kind of a small one, but you can put a blanket there. And then you've got the larger storage compartment underneath the front um, couch or uh, sofa here, whatever you want to call that. Those, uh, those um, containers do come with the Airstream. And then you're also going to have some storage and additional containers under both of the dinette seats and then more there and another little container it's a cute size container you've got your power distribution system right there both your 110 and your 12 volt and then with the kitchen on the 28 
A little bit shorter kitchen compared to the 30. You get a little bit more counter space uh, on the 30. Now, one thing that I want to mention, if you're like, hey, which one should I get, the 28 or the 27? I want to point out a couple of things. One on the 27, you get a much better uh, kitchen storage. You get better drawers. On the 28, drawers are right here. You're going to get this top one that has the cut, the uh, silver organizer, and an additional drawer underneath that, and then just a little bit of storage there. And then on the other side, you've got your Airstream trash can, and then a little bit of storage there. Sorry, hit the camera there. And then you've got your storage that's above with a soft close. Door hinges. There is not a pull-out pantry anywhere in this floor plan. For them to create the floor plan, they put their fridge there because they have this really nice dinette. So the fridge is not on the other side, which is how you're going to see it on the 27. And that means there's no pantry. So no pantry there. You've got a little bit of storage right here with this little plastic kind of organizer separating thing. A little bit of storage there, but, but there's no pantry right here. I'd love to see them figure out how to you know, move all of this over a little bit. Take, take a couple of inches away right here and add a pantry right there. But no pantry on the 28. On the 27, you get an enormous pantry. Uh, you've got the vent that actually vents outside, and it's massive. You've got the three-burner stovetop right there. You've got the convection microwave option on this one. If you choose to not go with the convection microwave, you're just going to have an oven right there. Now, as far as the color on the cushions, this is going to be the Seattle Mist. This is the most popular. We sell more of these. The other option is going to be Carolina Clay, and I'll throw a photo up of that one. The only thing that's going to change is the cushion. So the two decors are exactly the same minus the cushion cover. That just helps Airstream in the cost department. So this is the front section here. I love the windows. I love the port windows. Lots of windows. You've got the kitchen here. You've got the refrigerator, which is a 12-volt refrigerator, which means you're going to get all of the storage in the depth of the fridge instead of having to have that propane, um, the propane guts in there. So 12-volt just runs right off the 12-volt system. Get a little bit of storage above right there. That could be a good medicine cabinet. Um, now, kind of moving to the middle, the split bath section, the other thing you're going to see is going to be a smaller wardrobe. So on the 28, you're getting basically a single war wardrobe. Oh, there's the uh, seat cover. That's funny. There's your seat cover for your stainless steel mounted, surface mounted sink. And of course, you've got your residential faucet there. That's the control for the hot water heater on the 28. It's out here in the kitchen area. Your inverter control is right there. If you had solar, it would be right here. This one does not have the solar package. Then you've got your sea level monitor system, which does show you percentage, which I really like. Uh, sorry for that ADD moment there. Brought to you by Chad, Chad's RV Reviews. So you've got your closet here. That's access to the back of the shower there. And there's a little bit of storage down there. On the 27, you're going to have a double wardrobe of course it's on the other side and then we'll move to the bathroom now the 28 does give you a decent sized bathroom i'll give them that it's a little bit odd uh, if you've not been in a 28 you're thinking about getting a 28 i definitely recommend hey you can see me in the camera in the mirror um recommend kind of getting into a 28 and look at it and the reason is the mirrors are kind of odd now i'm i'm holding the camera straight onto the mirror which would be how you would look at the mirror and as you can see you can't see me to actually see me you've got to look up so this mirror is diagonal shaped to fit into um, this space because you've got the curved um, airstream body right there so kind of an odd part there that's just something you've got to see and decide whether you like it and then the other one is going to give you um, spring loaded and then a nice little storage area for your medicine cabinet. There's also additional storage underneath right here. You've got, you know, of course, power. You've got a light switch there. And there's some more storage that's going to be behind um, the commode here. Or behind, I think there should be a shelf there. I feel like there should be a shelf right there. I'm not sure if that is not there. And it's normally on the 28 and this one's not got it. But definitely should be a shelf right there. Just added you can add that yourself toilet paper holder there and i like where the toilet paper holder is because uh, it's easy to get to and then you've got the really cool circle 
uh, surface mounted sink and faucet there. You do have a towel hanger there as well as a towel hanger here. And then on the 28th, there's a mirror right here instead of a uh, towel hanger. Now I'm gonna sit down on the commode. This is a porcelain toilet. Definitely always want a porcelain thrown. One thing I wanna mention as far as room, there's plenty of room. Uh, this leg, my right leg is touching this, um, whatever this is here, this compartment. Uh, towel, the paper towel, or toilet paper, excuse me, don't use paper towels in your commode. Uh, TP holder is easy to get to. There's plenty of room around. I can shut the door, not really touch anything. I do feel like the Arby's give you a little bit larger bathroom. I should measure that at some point, and I can actually say those measurements. The 27, I think, gives you a little bit smaller bathroom, but you definitely have more storage in that kitchen area. And then let's move over to the shower. We'll just stay in this, this configuration for the shower. So shower, it's the, I mean, it's the same shower that you get, I think in the 27. Definitely has a shower head, which I like, with the on off button there. You've got the little full across string. Um, there is plenty of room as far as, for me at least, like I can fit in here, I fit in here fine, and I'm not a small person. Now I'm 5'10", probably 5'11", with shoes on. As I've mentioned, there's a few inches there. That's about three inches, I think. So if you're if you're six foot, you're gonna fit in here. Now you do have the bench that you can sit down on. I'm not gonna sit down on the bench because there is some uh, winterization fluid down there. Don't wanna get that on my pants. But if you're taller than you know, six foot, and you wanna be able to sit, you, know, you still wanna be able to take a shower and use the Airstream, you can sit down and use that shower just fine. Now, I'm gonna flip you back around. You've got the queen bed. There is a twin bed option if you want to do the twin bed. Twin bed is just going to give you a really nice aisle right here and a little bit more storage on the outside. Now above, we've got the two storage compartments. Remember, soft close on both of those, so good storage. Same, same amount of storage as what you have in the front of the coach over the, uh, the sofa that's going across. Now in here, it's just going to be the pillow kit. It actually says pillow kit on it. That's the goodie box that Airstream sends. You do get pillows as well. And then I believe there's a comforter right in there. Now you've got power on both sides. So 110 and two USBs, 110 and two USBs. And you've got a great spot to sit, you know, CPAP machine or anything that you might need at night to assist you uh, while you're sleeping. You do have reading lights on both sides. That would be difficult to get to laying down, but you could, you know, reach up and get to that. Uh, again, that window opens as well as the window. So on both sides, you've got windows that open and a cool port window underneath. So you can get some good cross ventilation and that back window also opens. So you can actually get cross ventilation from uh, north to south. Now, all of your overhead lights in a flying cloud are gonna have dimming capabilities. And then you've got your AC control here. Now this one is specced with the optional second AC. I highly, highly, highly recommend the second AC on the 27 or 28 models. The 25, you can probably get away with it with not having it. You can get away with it with temperature. The reason I would recommend it on a 25 is simply because of resale value. Um, there's just a thing in here, especially here in the South about not having two ACs, even if it's a smaller camper. So 25, definitely recommend it. Storage there. You have that same storage on the other side. And then underneath, you've got an open you know, container here, or open thing. You can get to the container. And then on the front, because this would be visible from the front, you're, you have a door that you can let down, and then you can get to your container that way. But then also, this bed lifts up. And it does have the assisted shocks on it, which is really nice. And then you can just see the enormous amount of storage that you have underneath. Now they do see and see this out. So there's little support bars there, but um, then you've got your containers, but there's even more room just in front of those. And you've got that pan there that you can pull out. That's really easy. And you can see into that front compartment. Now that front door is sealed and it's insulated. So it's okay that that is um, kind of accessible to the inside of the coach. You may want to think about what you put in there. You, like, you may not want to put things that have a smell um, in that area. And then you do have the 12 volt TV in the bedroom. Now this one is on a hinge, so you can pull this out and um, see if I can do it with one hand. There we go. So you can pull this out and kind of move it more towards the center of the room. That way some, you know, the person towards the TV is not 
getting favored to the TV. We don't want favoritism. Um, so you have the option to do that. I really wish they would do that. The same arm on the front as well. And then of course you can see all your different inputs, HDMI, uh, your coaxial input coming from the outside. And there's another inverted circuit right there. So basically when the TVs went to 12 volt, Airstream didn't get rid of the power plug that's near the, the TV. It's still there and it's just now an open inverted circuit. So you could use it if you needed to at night, like it's right there. So if you got a CPAP and you're dry camping and you need to plug that in, you know, you can get to it right there. Even if you use maybe a small extension cord, I think um, it would, there would be enough cord that you could reach that, that area. And yeah, so the queen bed. Now, if you do, it's North South on the 28, the 25 RB on the flying cloud. We have a 25 RB on the flying cloud. That's going to be, uh, and I have that video. I just made it. So I'll, I'll link that above. That's going to be east to west. There's a little bit of room over here to walk around the bed on that one. And then on the 28 RB, it's going to be north to south as well as the 27 FB if you go with the queen bed. Now the twin beds are always going to be north south. So they're just running there and then right there. Um, and on those, if you do the twin bed, you'll get an extra wardrobe right here. And I believe you get those on both sides. You'll get an extra wardrobe here and as well as one on the other side. You still keep your center compartment right there. That stays. You're just going to move these outer ward, uh, nightstands to the middle. And it's just one middle central nightstand. And then kind of moving to the front, you can see just the, the layout here. I do like the layout. It's just a few things that I'd like to see them do different. Hey, if you've made it to this point of the video, as always, thank you. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave in the comments whether you like the 27 or 28 better and why you like that, you know, whichever one you like better, why you like it better. Uh, if you're looking for an Airstream or interested in getting one, uh, be sure to reach out. My contact information is right there in the description below. And if you come by the store here at Airstream in Greensboro, be sure to ask for chat. I want to meet you. I want to show you around and let you see what we have as far as Airstream goes and answer any questions that you might have. Uh, I hope you're having a great day. You guys live riveted and we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye.